What's going on, Flare Fishing fam? Today we are going bass fishing. I am with Hook and Hogs TV. We're gonna be hooking hogs on TV. But before I get started, we have a new Dugan Squad shirt. I will link it down below. It's actually under this hoodie. It's actually freezing outside, so that's why I can't show it to you right without I'm wearing. But I'll, I'll show it to you real quick. I said I'll link it down below. If you guys join the subscription shirt, then you guys have a chance of winning a brand new bass boat at the end of the year and a free fishing trip with the Gugans. But today we are on a lake that I fish all the time. But there's gonna be a little bit of a twist though. It's one of the twists is it's freezing outside. Freaking, it's uh, it's cold. Are you cold? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold. Dark, we got we got a very strong north wind right now. It's uh it's a little bit chilly, but this is a lake that you guys see me fish all the time. But what I'm doing is I'm taking my mystery tackle box here, and instead of throwing all the typical lures I throw here, which is like a chatterbait, a frog, a square bill, you guys see me throw that deep diving crankbait on the rock pile. I'm gonna take the baits out of my mystery tackle box, try to catch some bass. Here we are folks, we're out on the water. Instead of doing an unboxing right now, I actually just wanna go catch some fish. I'm starting out with the little red Yozuri crankbait that came in the box. I'll, I'll do an unboxing at the end of the video, so if you guys wanna see the unboxing, what all came in my mystery tackle box, I will do that at the end. Also, use promo code FLAIR. You get 10 bucks off your very first mystery tackle box. I'll leave the link and all the information that you need down below, but for now, Let's uh, see if we can catch some fish on this crankbait. Come on, fish, don't be locked, Jod. All right, no luck on the crankbait. Here I have the V&M swim bait that came in the Mr. Duck box, but this, this may look a little odd to you guys. I have a bladed jig, but no skirt. This is a technique that I've used a handful of times. I haven't shown a whole lot on camera. It's kind of one of my little hidden secrets. But what happens is right now we have a big cold front that's coming through. And uh, so the fish are just going to be a little bit more picky. And this is just a little bit smaller, more natural presentation uh, than like a big bulky skirt that's flashing around. We're going to see if it works. It may or may not. That's, that's how I rigged up the swim bait though. I may just end up going to a regular weighted swim bait hook. For now, we're going we're gonna to try the old, the old naked chatterbait and see if we can catch the first fish of the day. So far, Ryan and I, neither one of us have had any bites. A few moments later. There's that one. There's one. What is that? Dude, it's big. Is it? It's got, it's got me in the oh, weeds. Dude, that one. was the first cast with that freaking oh, swim jig. I think it is a pike. No, it's a bass. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a bass. Dude, that was first cast. What? What? What the heck? That was so strange. We just went like an hour without catching a single fish. First cast I made. That might be a good sign. That is awesome. See you later, little guy. Heck yes. I'll show you guys, show you guys the bait that I'm throwing here. It's just a little shad swim jig, and I never throw swim jigs. I always throw the chatter baits. But like I said, there's been a cold front, and I think these fish are just very, very finicky. They want something very subtle. Something like this that'll kind of sneak right past them and this, this little swim bait on the back. There you go. There's one. That one? Yep. Dink. dink. Holy dink. Dude, holy dink. This is a dink fest today. I never catch small fish at this lake. That is a flare fish I've ever seen. All right. We're still trying to figure that out. This is, again, another swim or a swim jig fish with this little swim bait. I never throw swim jigs and it's so underutilized. I'm always throwing a chatter bait, but it just I wasn't able to make it happen, so I wanted to kind of do this. It, plus, this goes through the grass way better than a chatterbait, too. So, just giving you guys some tips. You know, if you're faced with a cold front and there's lots of grass, put yourself on a swim jig and you're good to go. Yep. First fish on the new spot. Or first cast on the new spot, I should say. How big are you? Are you bigger? Oh, he's bigger. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is like, this is what I'm used to seeing here. Some average Nebraska brute action going on now. Oh, he just flopped right off. How about that? Oh, look at that. He's got a hook. Hooking him? Yeah, he's got a hook in him. You're welcome, little guy. See you, buddy. We're starting to get him dialed in. Pulled up to a new spot. Again, fish, fishing the shallow grass pattern. Couldn't get a whole lot fired up on the rocks mainly just picking them off in the grass, reeling this little swim jig through there and catching fish, that's good. 
we're gonna keep on going. Ryan's back there flipping and pitching a creature bait. So he's slowing down as I'm doing more of reaction moving baits and we're seeing which one works best. So far, Ryan's only caught some squeakers, so they like the moving baits. There's one. Yep. Decent too. Yeah, buddy. Oh, now we're going, boys. You going? Hey, rocks. Ryan snagged. Well, I got a, got a nice old little largey there. There we go. Finally. Finally got a fish off the rocks. Yes. 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 This is what we came here for. You guys have no idea how good this feels after about like almost two hours of just like straight nothing. Hog on. Fish? Hog on. Giant. I actually have no idea if there's a fish on. There? I have no idea. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's a good one, too. He was just coming right at me. You jokester. Get up in here, boy. Woo! Now we're talking. That's a solid little fish. Now we're fishing the oh. fish in the dam. See you, little guy. It's laying now. We came to the dam, and the wind is blowing into the dam, which is always a good thing. You always want to fish wind-blown stuff anytime you're trying to, like, you know, find where the bait fish are and whatnot. And then there's also these little scattered trees and uh, Ryan's throwing a little Texas rig. So he's just kind of flipping and pitching the trees and then I'm somewhat cranking the outsides with these little little swim jig. Just something that imitates a little crappie, a little bluegill, a little, little, little bait fish. And like I said, I'm really just slowing it down, letting it sink down to the bottom. That's our plan of attack as of right now that's working. Two hours later. Well, folks, as promised, we're going to do the old MTB Pro. A little somewhat quick, but yet thorough unboxing. Going to be adding that to this video because I know a lot of you guys like the unboxings, but all of you guys, hopefully, I think, at least I think you guys like fishing. So that's why I included the fishing first. And now that you guys don't like the unboxing, you guys can click out now. If you do want to see what came in this month's mystery tackle box, you guys stay tuned. So for those of you guys that don't know, Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly subscription service. They basically ship this box to your house every single month filled with fish catching baits. It's a great way to discover new lures, uh, if you're especially if you're new to bass fishing or even if you're a veteran, it's a good way to discover. They send you the newest baits, even sometimes baits that aren't even released yet. Uh, great colors and it's all for a discounted price. So the value of what comes in this box will always be more than what you paid. I will leave all the information that you need down below, all the links. Make sure you use promo code FLAIR, 10 bucks off your very first box. Now let's get into the unboxing. So the first bait that came in the box, this was the one that I used primarily today in today's video. This is the VNM baits. It is the high tail shad. Now the difference between this swim bait and most other swim baits on the market is the, the actual tail of it is upside down, which makes it ride higher in the water column, which is what I was explaining a little bit as I was fishing it. That's why I liked this one for, for the specific lake that I was fishing is there was a ton of grass and it's very important to kind of burn your, uh, and I, for me, I was throwing a swim jig, burn that in, keep that above the grass. This bait definitely helps with that. That is the first bait in the box. Bait that I did not tie on was this right here. This is a live target bait ball jerk bait. Now this is perfect for any clear water applications. Unfortunately, the lake that I fished today was not very clear, so that's why I did not pick this guy up. Right here was the 3DB little red crank bait that you guys saw me throwing right at the beginning. The next lure in the box is this one right here. This is a Nichols Lures Mojo. This is a spoon. I did tie it on, I did throw a little bit, but I didn't end up really catching any fish. It, that's not really a lake that you could fish the spoons on. It's just not deep enough. The fish don't really school up enough, but that is the next bait that came in this month's mystery tackle box. And the last of the baits is this guy right here. This is the Ketchko. I believe this one is called something, something grub, swimming grub. I didn't throw this one either, but uh, I definitely could have thrown this one. I was just really keyed in on that, that swim jig bite. And all it is is this little, it's got like a curly tail worm, uh, but it's more shaped like a shad. So if you're, if you're fishing a lake or a pond that has a lot of bait fish in it, this would be a good choice. Lastly, we got some hook and this little thing here has all the prices and whatnot. I'll leave everything down below what, what all came in the, this month's box. And then 
got the old swim bot sticker so that concludes this month's june uh mtb pro did catch some fish which was good it was terrible conditions though everyone that i talked to out on the lake was like we didn't catch anything or we only caught a couple and so for Ryan and I to actually catch a fair de fairly decent amount of fish, I thought it was pretty good. Overall, I had a great time fishing with Hook and Hogs. If you haven't subscribed to him, I will link his channel down below. You should. You should if you haven't. Uh, he makes some pretty good videos. Anyways, I'm going to go inside and go pack. I'm headed to the Ozarks this week. Uh, I'm going to spend an entire week there. I'm going to try to do a little bit of bass fishing. My leg is very messed up from India when I cut it on the coral. It got infected, and I spent all day yesterday at the doctors. Basically, all the doctors were telling me, don't do anything, don't go fishing, don't go swimming or anything. And well, today I went fishing, so. Well, you know, it's whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do to make the YouTube videos, right? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want the Guggen Squad shirt, that one right there, I'll link it down below. And if you want the brand new America flare hat, I will link that down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and peace.